Every geologist has a pet rock collection. I left home at 18, and um, there was no room in my car for all my rocks. Uh, years later, my mom called and said, when I told her I'm becoming a geologist, oh, mom, I'm going to do this. And she goes, I threw your rocks away. <laughs> I said, it's okay, mom. Honest, it's okay. I have a whole other pile. <laughs> I would love to have kept those rocks, but they were probably alongside railroad tracks and they might have even just been tar, who knows? <laughs> I went to work for a mine, first as security, and then warehousing, and then started cutting core for them, and then worked underground as a sampler. So the mining industry really has been a help. But at the same time, as an older uh, indigenous woman coming into um, the geosciences, you have uh, almost a limited lifespan for field geology. And that was the one thing I was really interested in, was, was being outside all the time. What makes geology really exciting is that you get to look at the world in a different way. Whether you're in the city, if you're on a farm, if you're in rural areas, if you're boating, the earth below you existed for billions of years. And it has a, a total history there that, that you get to, um, to work at, learn more about and interpret it. I think that uh, geoscientists accomplish so much in understanding the history of the earth, whether it is uh, to keep the economy going for the mining industry, whether it is um, land use planning with indigenous peoples, uh, there is so much that uh, when you have completed and sent off your, your reports for publishing, or in my case, finished a map, it's, it's wonderful. You look down at that and say, this is what's there. This is the history that's there. It's, it's beautiful. As Indigenous people, we understand that, that everything is intertwined. Everything is a part of the whole. And geology fits in that circle for everything. For, for myself, it went from uh, field geology to um, explaining geology in First Nation communities to doing community relations for um, a mining company. That way, I can share the geoscience with the people who do want to hear it, which are Indigenous people, and um, manage a relationship. Try to teach on both sides so that people don't constantly consider themselves on opposite ends of a table, but that we're together in that table. And as an Indigenous person, I come to that position with both geology for the exploration side and um, an Indigenous perspective. In every aspect, Indigenous people feel that they haven't been listened to. And so corporates or governments haven't necessarily understood fully what the perspective of the First Nations are. I think that there is a way to amalgamate um, the understandings of economic development and balancing the economic development with the histories of the land, the histories of the people. And as an Indigenous woman myself, I have to keep balancing so that when I come to the table to discuss things, I can do it from my geoscience point of view and still incorporate an Indigenous perspective. But I do think that you can have financial gain and still have a good environmental footprint um, to, to be uh, a benefit to all people. Geoscience will allow you the opportunity to make a difference. People have negative um, feelings about mining, then become a geoscientist. And if you think that there is room for improvement, be the one that does. Just like probably there's a ton of people out there that want to be the ones that do.